Hey guys, Glimsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we did some uh, pretty aggressive stuff, from my point of view at least. We created a new line, which uh, delivered logs, and you can see all the logs here piling up. Delivering logs to uh, the uh, sawmill to produce planks and uh, wood powder. And the planks will be taken up north here to uh, create more uh, tools and machines. And the wood powder will be taken to the south here to the waste uh, facility where it will then be transferred by a different line to uh, the paper mill. Yeah, two wood powder <clears throat> into one paper mill, into one paper. And that is then uh, transferred to the city. Now I've done some simulations offline. I have uh, tried out some things, so we don't end up. Uh, so we have a fighting chance of uh, <laughs> going beyond and not getting uh, bankrupt. Yeah, so uh, we'll try some of those ideas out. And what I noticed was, uh, what I realized was that, really, really, the mail will not work. You can see all our mail lines here. If you if we unlock all of that, all the mail lines are losing money. Yeah. So and and I don't think that's restricted to the the trucks. I think even the trains when they carry mail, it might look good because they're carrying something, but at the end of the day, mail is just too cheap. So it takes up unnecessary space. Like th these guys carrying 20 mail, that's going to barely uh, move the needle, so to speak. So, what I uh, discovered was, yes, it does not really work. So, and uh, let me know if you have uh, violent reactions against this, but mail is just not a viable source of income. And so, we basically need to remove all of that. And just by doing that, we should be able to improve the situation here. Yes, and the train mail, this green line which we created initially, <clears throat> it has become phased out. So you can see we're also losing money here. Because uh, unable to find Path Depot. Okay, we can do that when he, when he gets here. It has become phased out because uh, we have some other lines which do that now. We have the, or the, the gray truck line connected to the... Uh, how do you call this? What color is that? Flesh? I don't know. Yellow. <laughs> beige. Beige truck line. Which basically serves as our cargo uh, cargo thing. So it does not really make sense anymore to... Uh, how do you say? To maintain that line for cargo purposes. But what we can do is we can retain that line so we can uh, make a passenger line from uh, Rochester to Axminster. Yeah, add some buses as well. That should help us a bit. Okay, now we have some money. We have a bit of money with selling off the uh, the buildings and the... For now, the post offices I'll retain there. But yeah, we won't be using them. We won't be using them. Alright, so let's let this guy go. We'll sell him and then we'll replace this with a passenger line. Yes, that should earn us a bit more money. And uh, hopefully, that allows us to uh, pay off our debts, which is now in 35 million range. <laughs> For the first time, we got a positive number here, but that's because of uh, we sold off the, the trucks, the mail trucks. <clears throat> no, no, no. Don't you even think about it. You get sold. Okay, sell off. And uh, we will need to replace this. So instead of a cargo station here, we'll be replacing it with a train station. Let's keep it 160 meters. Something like that should be good enough. We try to connect this. I doubt this will work though. Yeah, that's 74 won't work, we have to go back a bit and extend, that's 120, perfect, All right. And the same in this way, delete that thing, replace it with a passenger station, 
and uh, maybe later on we can improve again the situation we can add some cargo trains again but for now we need to focus on the quick wins it's all about the quick wins that won't work either go there 120 perfect and connect back the thingy the depot there you go so now we have a line there um, remove the line altogether because we'll be making a new line so it's fresh in terms of finances it will be easier to analyze yeah and thanks by the way for all the comments that you gave guys let's say passenger train i know that's not really okay let's make it more detailed rochester to axminster and thank you for the comments gave me a couple of ideas on how to proceed with this so some of the, your comments are integrated with this one now we have a couple of options here. We can go and get a uh, one of these, like the Blower file. 39 capacity up to 110, but I think I like the red arrow because we it, it offers fewer passengers but faster. And instead of having like uh, a large train, we can have multiple small ones. As a result, we'll have to uh, we will have to double track this later on, but uh, we won't need that just yet. Yes, we can uh, retain a single train for now, and then when the demand goes up, then we can add another train and double track it. Things like that. And this one as well, we don't need anymore this purple truck line, because uh, there is no cargo station there anymore, so it doesn't make sense. That will not bring anything anymore, so that's why you see it goes negative. So let's sell that and go there. Yes, good. So with the passenger station here, it also makes sense to add a bus stop. Yes, so our city can travel to and from the uh, train station without much difficulty. Now we already have a bus here. We can add a uh, stop over here delete that first one so it will start from here go around the city like so uh, that looks good that looks good and then we can maybe stop over again here like so there you go now we have connected the entire city well not really entire but the majority of the city with the passenger station maybe it will help if i move south here huh Hmm, that might actually work. Let's experiment with that later, right? But okay, we also need to do that on this other side. We have a passenger station, but we do not have a uh, bus station here. So let's plan that out. We will need a bus station here as well, because I'm not sure if you can use the post office as a bus station. Does it make sense? Okay, so I guess it doesn't work like so. You can have a bus station here. Is it possible? So that they won't have to walk so far. That works. That's a tight squeeze, but it fits. Okay, good. So that works. And then we need to... Let's say... Where do we go? So from here, people will probably... Actually, I don't know where they would go. Let's add a few bus stops. Let's say... Hmm. Let's start here. Why not? Okay, go there, pass through here, and then what would make sense? What would make sense? We have there. So either bus stops or uh, mailboxes can serve as passenger stations. It doesn't look that good, but it will have the same effect. So we'll keep it for now. We'll keep that kind of... Uh, set up right do that do that and do this i guess okay let's see how that works let's make a line starting from here go around like so and uh, hmm, we were not touching that entire thing though that's a bit of a shame maybe we can go around like there but that might be a bit too long though. Yeah, let's, let's just do this in the meantime. 
let's keep it minimalistic stop there here and there all right so it goes around in a clockwise manner kind of goes around the city that should be good enough uh, coverage yes and then let's add uh, three buses in there let's pick this what did i pick for the other one i don't know but this should be okay i, I kind of like that two-tone color thing there so let's pick this as rename this as bus axminster yes now in my simulations in my uh, offline simulations i didn't really uh, get a hundred percent um, solution on how to get rid of our loans but i had a a few ideas so i uh, will be refining those ideas and we'll see how that works and hope that they work pretty darn well okay but in the meantime just hang tight and uh, stay with me okay that's good we can fast forward this uh, actually don't that is a bit of pile up on the delivery for waste i think we can add another truck there one or two trucks actually let's add, just add one i think in at this stage of our uh, at this stage of our uh, debt situation we cannot afford to just go gung-ho and just go yolo on the purchases we had really have to do incremental updates incre incremental improvements to see the improvement or the the uh, the deterioration of the situation so to speak so this one i think we can afford one more truck there and yes this is what i'll do i'll just buy one truck at a time until there is no more waiting goods anywhere this one um we had a problem well we have a problem of uh, logs and wastage oh, why did this stop oh this i think upgraded from 800 to 16 so in the meantime this is stopped but that's fine that will give a chance to uh, pick up all the logs and uh, pick up a few of the wastage as well. The waste, uh, um, deliver that here for the waste facility. Okay, all right. And one more thing that I was looking for was a quick win. Something what, that was a no-brainer in terms of earning money. And by far, and this is consistent with what you guys have recommended, the easiest money maker is the fuel line. Yeah, even with a default game without the new industry, this is the surest way of earning money. Having crude here, getting crude here, delivering it to the refinery, producing fuel, and delivering the fuel to the nearby cities. Yes, that is the quickest way for earning money, so we will go with that. And uh, let me see, can I just add something like probably won't work that's too far away okay let's do it like this and this time i'll make it really piece by piece so we can minimize the cost every penny counts at this point and so it's okay if the road kind of uh, changes in height and level bit by bit as long as the as long as we minimize the uh, terraforming costs yeah so that's that was pretty cheap i think yes and as much as i would love having a train here having a train in the beginning doesn't really make sense because in the beginning you don't really have a lot of production so your train will not be utilized and at the same time having a train will be very expensive so the cost is there but the income will not yet be there because the, the products have not ramped up yet so I think it would be best for us to stick with trucks in the meantime and then just upgrade later on I think this should work that's very expensive that one kind of works yeah go with that All right let me get a depot somewhere in here it's that cheap it's expensive but here okay that's okay with me all right good that's it let us 
by let's say two trucks in the meantime set a line from the crude oil to the uh, fuel refinery all right so that line should be set and then we have to find a way to deliver it to the cities the nearby city is here and if we add just a uh, maybe a mailbox huh so it would not be inconspicuous add the mailbox there and that's going to be the drop-off point for our truck. So add a new line from here, where the fuel will be coming from. Deliver that here. Yes. Which is in catchment of the entire industrial region. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. And then uh, in the same way, and in other nearby cities, this Canock, I think, can also be delivered to. If we add, wait, let me add a truck first. Just a single truck. And yes, we will lose money in the meantime, but it will be an investment. Because we need it to get the party started, so to speak. In Canuck, industrial area is here, so maybe we can add a mailbox somewhere over here on a side street where it will not be prone to traffic. Add a line this time from this, so the fuel will be, be <coughs> sorry, fuel will be coming from here, but we'll connect it on this area. And what this will do is it will make the oil refinery two-way. The oil, the crude line, this green line, will be shipping crude from north to south. It will be bringing back from the fuel from south to north. And then it will be sh handed over to this line delivering to Canuck. Although, I think it would also be wise if we could make a road like so. Uh, it's very expensive, huh? Can you please... Yeah, there you go. Whenever it reaches around 20k, I try to stop myself. So we minimize the terraforming. And just connect to the city like so there you go there you go and that's the line that's a much shorter route than the long way around okay that's good so let's add a truck in there as well there you go so that should uh, October is coming hopefully that's enough to no, still not. Okay, so maybe November is when it will happen. Alright, alright. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what other improvements can we do. Oh, lots of waste here. Lots of waste on this one. I think we can afford one more truck in there. If you look at the orange line, truck machines, yeah, we're actually earning a lot of money there. Nice. Okay, good. And we are starting to get passengers on the train line. That's beautiful. Here though, we have not yet gotten any. Which is pretty interesting. Did I do something wrong? Sure hope not. This train, still full of logs. That's good. This guy has a few passengers not quite a lot okay there you go that's starting that's starting in terms of frequency bus frequency is fine train frequency is not very good it's three minutes maybe we can afford to double track that immediately no let's leave it for now i mean what would their alternative be they can take the the, the car maybe yeah they can take a car via this road to go to that city that's true. So we need the train to be faster. Faster frequency. So that they won't take a car going there. And, and uh, they'll be more inclined to uh, go via train. I think it will be worth it to <clears throat> double track this. I think so. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Okay. If we start from here. And I double track like that. 
right? Just double track it. It's not so expensive because it's an even ground. Not the cheapest thing in the world, but not so expensive either. So it should be fine. Okay, is that good? Yeah. And here we cannot just go straight because of that uh, that leg, that support on the bridge, but that's fine. We can bend a little like this, which is actually pretty nice as well. Adds a nice bend to the the root and then let's extend this line until it goes 120 on that direction it reaches 120 there yeah so it's 120 all over the place perfect and then let's go again straight away connecting here is that good enough that should be good enough And we have a double track system. Nice. Let's add some signals. Okay. And let's add a few signals along the way. We don't really need a lot. Uh, should be here and there. Where else? Here would be the next one. I try to place them before the post. So it's uh, more visible to the drivers, you know. We care. <laughs> we care. Good. And uh, one more. Like so. Actually, I'm placing a lot of signals. Huh? More than I intended, but that's fine. Should not be a problem. The more, the merrier. Kind of. Good. And the signal is pretty cheap anyway. And if it helps our drivers, why not? Good. Here, before the merge, put a signal there. Put a signal here as well. And here, maybe put something like that one. Good. Yes, that should be more than enough. Alright, that's perfect. So we can actually borrow more. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, should we borrow more? Should we maybe just repay this in the meantime? Yeah, let's repay this in the meantime. Let's fast forward. So we pay less uh, loan interests. And in the meantime, let's have a look at our situation. Um, so we are earning on the train logs line. We are still losing money on this new passenger train line. That's fine. Look at the income we're getting from these two truck lines. 500k. We can actually uh, afford more trucks here, I think. Just look at that. It's just a huge buildup of goods there. I think we can afford one more here. Yes. That's the one. That should help a bit in uh, shipping the planks. Even here we're getting some buildup, but not so much. Not so much. I think we need more help here up top. Okay, here comes the massive income from the set of logs, 310k, let's buy one more truck, yes, and assign you up north, good. December comes, we're still, we're still at positive, that's pretty nice for a change, right? <laughs> Although here, I do want to improve this one as well, we have a lot of waste here, just piling up. And I think we can improve that by maybe shortening the road here, I'm thinking. If we make a bridge here, connect like that, make a bridge, connect it directly here so they don't have to go all the way around that way, that might actually quicken the route. I'm not really sure. It is very expensive though. Bridges are very, very expensive. And we'll be uh, cutting that off. We can do that, but that will be 200k, and do we really need a ferry? I don't think so. It rarely happens that we benefit from a ferry. Although the hovercrafts are a pretty interesting thing, we might have been unlocked already. 
So do we want to close it? Well, this is closed anyway. Uh, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> this, this part is closed anyway, so we have to recreate that anyway. So having one more here shouldn't be that bad, I think. Yes, so let's maybe add a road. Make the shortest bridge possible or how much would that be? 8 million. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd uh, stick with 100k. Thank you very much. That one should be more than enough. Yes. And then connect. Let's do it like that. Hmm. That's very good. Let's see. Let's see. I can connect there. Maybe curve it up a little. Make the curves as uh, as gradual as possible. Maybe not. That's not too gradual, huh? That one I think works. But uh, let's try something. Something even less dramatic. That one is perfect. Okay, that's good. And then this one, we just connect there, right? That should be fine. There you go. So now our line should be using... There you go. All of them are actually going that way now. That's uh, not bad. That's not bad. I think that works. Good. So that should help a little with the speed, hopefully. Reducing that much of road. Making that, yeah. Let's hope that works and then maybe let's have a look at the situation here yeah we're barely earning money here on this uh, line which is interesting maybe i should focus on i'm thinking about this maybe i should focus on because this line is actually having it has three stops from the waste uh, collection Delivering to the waste facility, to the recycling center, and then delivering to the paper mill. If I just cut it to two, and maybe add a truck that goes from the paper mill to the uh, from the recycling center to the paper mill, maybe that will be better, huh? Because right now I have so many trucks here, all going to this stop, <clears throat> but there is not really that much to transport. So I think what I'll do is I'll cut that totally or or wait before that happens and I don't have I'm at negative 1 million now because the uh, loan interest is at 850k rip uh, yes I think that's a good um, a good move but I think we need to add a few trucks or maybe let's uh, move out just a few of them in the meantime. Okay, let's let's do something. Let me add a line from here to here. This will be the truck <clears throat> paper line. I guess that would work. Or uh, wood powder. L let's leave it like that. Truck paper. Okay, so what would happen is they would uh, get wood powder from one, from the east deliver it here to the west that will produce paper and then the paper will then be shipped back in here which will be taken by the trucks going north and south yes that should optimize the cyan line here is that cyan <clears throat> this truck waste line i think that should help yes in this one i guess what we can do let me see let me see like this guy let's move you to the paper line uh, same with this guy after he drops that off so maybe let's have just three trucks here and then let's uh, change the cyan line paper there you go That should help, I think. That should at least streamline and uh, give us a better understanding on what is causing the 
the problem? What is causing the bottleneck? So with this one, we can actually remove the third stop now. There you go. So now it's going to be straight from city to waste facility and back. Right? And then we have another line which is focused on delivering wood powder to the paper mill and paper mill back to the center for delivery to the north for this city and city at the south. Kind of. Kind of that way. Yes. Okay. Let's have a look. How are things? Let's fast forward a bit. We're earning a lot of money on the train. 587k. The passenger train line is... Uh, Picking up bit by bit, I think. Yes. Alright, that looks pretty good so far. I think this can do a bit of help. Huh? Mm. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We're not in a very good place to help do any helping though. Okay, let's have a look at this new line. This new line it look, is looking good. We're actually getting a few stuff here now. Still losing money on most of them, but actually the first line here, let's say this is the truck crude. It's actually earning a bit. It's broken even. Uh, this line, what is this? This is the truck delivering fuel to, let's say, Han Stanton. Ooh, very interesting name. Constanton. Okay. <clears throat> and the one up north is called the uh, Canuck. Good. Alright. So, how it looks? We're still losing a bit of money. Almost breaking even in there. Because the earnings from the green line <clears throat> is making up for the losses on the other two lines. <clears throat> Almost. Not quite. But yeah, that's a work in progress. That's a sure winner right there. That's the easiest line you can have. And then, wow, you can uh, you can see all the waste here. Just monster wastage. Look at the, how much we're earning on that truck machine. 79k. You can actually afford more in there. More on the red line. And also more on the orange line. That's interesting. And look at this. Lots of demand for this train. Surely you haven't had a good look at this train yet, huh? The red arrow, I think it's called, right? Pretty fast. If we try and look at that, maybe we can have a race with one of the... We can actually catch up to those cars there. Wouldn't you guys want to ride this one instead of uh, driving your own cars? Look at that, how fast it is. Those guys don't even stand a chance. <laughs> cool, and no traffic whatsoever. Oh, that's perfect. Looking good. Alright, amazing. Look at all the people here. Wowzers. I bet you are earning money already. No, not yet. That's strange. Okay, so 18. We can afford that second train there. Here. Not quite. Almost, almost. Yeah, I think we can afford the second train soon. Should I loan money? Should I loan from the bank? Would that be worth it? Let's do it. I think it's... Uh because what that will do, if you buy another red arrow in here, from 4 minutes frequency, it will become 111 seconds. And that makes it a much more uh, appetizing, <laughs> a much more uh, prospective aspect for people taking the train, cutting the frequency in half. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was quick. No more waste here. They've shipped everything? Is that how it is? Is that how it works? We've delivered all the waste in here? Why is no one producing anything? Oh, this is producing. Okay. Maybe we've just uh, really shipped everything. All the wastage because we optimized the line. Maybe. Alright, let's have a look now. Uh, now everything is earning. 
truck paper earning, the truck waste earning as well. And yes, the frequency is much, much better. I think what we can do... Hmm, let me see. Maybe we can have one of these uh, trucks going to that other one. I'm thinking of balancing the frequency. Like you can see that the truck paper, the top line here, is 94 seconds. This one is 46, so it looks like there are too many trucks in here. Although it's not only the frequency that matters, it's also the rate and the demand, so it's not as clear cut. But I think for now, we don't have really any much buildup, so I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Yeah, we'll make it work. This one... Yeah, good. Alright, alright. Let's leave it like that. I think that helps. In here? Okay. <clears throat> the train is somehow... Catching up. Oh, this has stopped producing again. I'm not sure why that stops. If it gets full here... I should get a notice here, which says it's full, but I don't. But that's fine, because as I mentioned, that gives a chance for the waste to be delivered and the logs to stop uh, delivering for a bit. Now, I've gotten some suggestions where we can have like a, a train which focuses on waste and a train which focuses on logs. The problem with that is if you restrict a train to deliver only waste, it will always only travel one way. So it will get waste from here drop it off here but then after that there would be nowhere to go so that's uh, going back it would always not bring anything so that might be a dead end there so I think I'd rather keep it flexible what's happening in here we can afford a few more trucks let's get maybe two more in here that should help a bit with the frequency Look at that. No potential for wood powder because I think probably because yeah, we are overstocked here. We are not shipping it fast enough. Crap. There's a new truck coming soon by the way. Has it come out yet? Not yet. It's one of my favorite trucks in this game. You'll see it. Maybe in this episode it will come out. Alright, let's have a look here. Oh yes definitely can afford to upgrade this one let's get uh, two trucks assign it to the crude line you can see all the crew that's building up it's going to provide so much more potential in here as well you can see the <clears throat> fuel piling up on this uh, on stanton line so we can maybe add a single truck for now just incremental upgrades and if you look at the money situation yeah, we're earning, we're earning now. All lines are earning. Beautiful. That's exactly how I want it. Amazing. Okay, and yes, we'll uh, continue to upgrade this incrementally, bit by bit, until uh, trucks cannot handle it anymore and we can ship it elsewhere. You know what, what else I was planning? We, we're uh, shipping these to these two nearby cities, but what's going to be amazing is if we can somehow transfer the fuel from here if we can somehow make the fuel land here so that our train, our long train, can take the fuel back to the west. Now that will make it truly two-way direction. Yeah, deliver it to Glossop and maybe some other nearby cities. Not really much nearby, but you get the point, right? That might actually work. And not only if we deliver the fuel here, that will not only bring more money to Glossop, into that train line that will also bring more money to our truck lines because this will also link up the other cities that we have connected so far these three cities but yeah that's the tricky thing that's the tricky thing how the heck do we connect this oil refinery with this area yes because uh, i hate it because we have a pretty steep slope here like if you look from here that darn thing is pretty steep I don't think a train can do it if we add like uh, if you try it out that's going to be a tunnel and tunnels are super expensive what I was thinking was maybe we could make it a hybrid for now at least so we can maybe make a train station 
like that way actually let me draw it that way that direction or maybe a bit curved and then we can curve it up here go go uh, curving with the mountain with the hill yes it will pass by this town we can actually stop there or we can stop somewhere here so we can start from the refuel refinery we can curve around like so right here <clears throat> cross this way have a train station here then the truck station can deliver to this city and then can also deliver like let's have a truck deliver it the rest of the way from here to here traversing this uh, slope that will be pretty realistic right and then uh, delivering it there and then it will be two-way as well because uh, the goods that are coming from here can also be shipped this way to uh, the other cities so that's a win 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 <laughs> that's what i'm planning at least and look at that we're earning money we are earning money we can actually pay off a bit of loans yep. and we can even get a new truck in i think yes we can add a truck here i believe uh maybe not because a new month just came in but yes i think one more truck going to kanok kanok would be good here maybe no let's leave it as is yeah just a bit of build up is not a big deal when it gets to i don't know four or five icons five bars that might be when we need to step it up but for now i think incremental things is uh, the way to go look at that passenger line is now earning look at look at our lines guys everything is now green all our lines are green isn't that a pleasant sight to behold by just removing the mail the, the we've tried a couple of episodes to make it work but i don't think it really is the future okay logs are getting produced that's good and look at that we'll be able to ship most of the waste here now because at some point the logs stop working and that gives a chance for the wastage or the waste to uh to uh make up for it to uh how do you say you know what i mean <laughs> to uh urgh, i'm really pushing here yeah to make up for the the, the lost uh, production for logs but yeah this time i think the logs are stepping up again yeah that should be good these two otherwise it would be a huge money loss and i think we can afford more trucks in here should we maybe wait for 500k so that we can at least pay one more loan i think we can make it work because that train's arriving thank you repay that amounts to less uh, interest payments and uh, post game maybe i can squeeze in one truck there maybe one more before january hits there you go oh crap come on there we go before january hits i can squeeze it in so at least you have two more trucks on this line and uh we can afford to uh, zero out the backlog on this side. Look at that. That would have been so nice having specific mail cars, but yeah, mail is just not a viable thing. Maybe I can mod it. Maybe I can change the parameters somehow. Make mail uh, profitable. Give it a fighting chance. State of the art trains. That's a full train. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay. Good. This one here, that's how much? 180? Almost 180. Our crane can handle around 180, I think. So that's a full train. And January hit. And yes, we're at negative. <laughs> negative 1M, but that's fine. Alright, look at that. Almost no backlog anymore. And the logs are continuing to ramp up again. Beautiful okay i love that we good all right we're good so uh, that looks to be fine okay now we're getting more bars in here so now i think it's worth it to step that up 
<clears throat> just buy another truck in there. Reduce the backlog on that side. And let's pay off the loans later. Will one be enough or should I buy two maybe? Maybe I should buy one more. Okay, that should be good. So the lines here, yeah, pretty good. Look at that, 167k on this screwed line because it's uh, shipping to and from. That's why this uh, fuel industry is so profitable. Just like in real life, huh? Man, this is very realistic, huh? The male doesn't really earn money. The fuel earns too much money. <laughs> Just like real life, goodness. Okay, waste is uh, going through the roof. We're earning a lot of money. Even the paper line is earning a lot. I like that uh, change. I didn't do that in the simulation. I only realized that here. Look, it act it's actually earning more money. The paper line is actually earning more money than the waistline. Waistline. <laughs> Love it. Okay, that looks good. And uh, looks like the waste facility is due for an upgrade. That's amazing. We just need to keep it up. That's beautiful. So that means more production of steel, plastic, and wood powder. Amazing. Right. Uh, this is this is looking bad though. This is looking bad. Yeah, but the potential for logs is going down. There is a bottleneck somewhere, and that's affecting the train. It's not full. Crap. Yeah, this is ah, uh, that's that's the problem. There's the problem. But yeah, we're uh, getting into a solution in there, so next month should be good, I hope. Let's have a look here. Oh, still no potential for wood powder. Crap. Please prioritize shipping wood powder. I wish there was a setting on which they should prioritize. Yeah, look at that. Why are you shipping waste when there's so much wood powder in there? Come on. Wood powder. Oh! Alright. How about you? How about you? Okay, there you go, wood powder. That's more like it. There you go. Okay. Zero that out. The waste here is gone. Yeah, the, the waste production is a bit erratic, isn't it? Like sometimes it just bursts with waste and then at some points it just doesn't produce anything at all. It's a bit weird. It's a bit uh, wonky, the mechanic there. And yeah, look at that. Half train. rip a -roon. Okay, pip potential is coming up for the logs again. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. And if I look at the thing here, okay, yes, wood powder demand is coming back up. That's what I want. Good, 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 good. Over here. Uh... Not a lot of build-up, that is good for now, so I guess we can brainstorm a bit more about that idea. Train line here, delivering to this spot, a truck station here which will deliver dollish and to this area. That sounds good. That will require a lot of money though, so we will need to loan a lot of money again and uh, that means more loans. We're currently at 36.5 million already. I'm not sure if I want that. I'm not sure if I want that, to be honest. You have to uh, spend money to make money, that's true, but is that too much? Ooh, look at this. Look at all that wood powder. That's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Do we need more trucks on that line now? Not sure. Not really sure. Hmm. If we can afford, yeah, it's look. It looks like we don't have enough trucks on that line, on that paper line. Let's maybe add one more. Oh, we don't have a depot anywhere nearby. I hate that. <clears throat> All right, fine. Let's get the truck from here. I'm just cheaping out. Okay. Uh, paper line please that one that should help reduce the backlog a bit here we have how many here 40 paper waiting yeah that's fine that's fine 
let's see how much is my loan 36.5 m oh look at that something just bubbled up yeah this is upgrading this is upgrading like mad it's production to 800 now so i think we can afford more trucks in here definitely crude yes we need to ship that out and that will in turn improve the other lines as well that's beautiful yeah maybe we can go with incremental upgrades for now squeezing in loan payments every now and then until we make it work somehow oh that's going down again yeah this is not going good look at that the income for the train almost zeroing out it was like 500k before pretty soon it will be losing money so that will not be a full train yes i hate that really hate that right <clears throat> but yes that is not going too bad the problem here is we have too many planks and we cannot upgrade because we don't have enough steel. Yeah, what I hate about this machine factory is even if we're producing to the limit of tools, we also have to, pro to uh, produce to the limit of machines so that the darn thing will upgrade, the factory will upgrade. You can't just have one at its capacity. That means we need more steel. And steel is pretty much a commodity right now because it's only coming from the waste facility over here. Yeah, but if this upgrades, then that can work. But it looks like the hmm, it looks like the upgrade didn't push through, did it? Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That means we're not delivering enough waste here. Hmm. How do we do this? Let's see. Well, wow, we still have a lot here. Okay, more trucks, please. This might be our savior right here. Crude. And we need also more trucks in there. Maybe one more. Uh, this then. Perfect. Just going to get more and more trucks in here because I think that will actually be what will save us from all these loans. <clears throat> we do have trucks at full capacity so that's perfect. Yes, yes, there you go. Alright, the bars are listening. The backlog is listening. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's scheduled for an upgrade. That's exactly what I want. This one is also, should be, scheduled for an upgrade. Maybe next month. But yeah, everything is just ramping up on this side. So when this is really ramped up, man, and maybe when we're a bit, uh, uh, a bit over the debt, maybe we can then make that connection. But for now, let's keep them separate. Let's play it a bit safe. This one. There you go. Please. Please produce. Oh no, we're losing money here now. Dang it. Why are you not speeding up? We do have a lot. Yeah, I think it's the bottlenecks that we've uh, noticed. The steel bottleneck here. Is there somewhere we can produce steel? Maybe we can... That's a very tricky thing to produce though. Yeah, this one. You can normally produce steel by getting uh, iron ore and coal. We have iron ore here. It's a bit far. We have coal there. So we can ship it here. We can deliver the steel maybe here and then it can be transferred via the paper mill 
somehow because they are not really that uh, filled with capacity right they don't really need to ship that much maybe that can work maybe that can work yeah and that will help with this one so right now we don't have, need too many logs because we don't need too many of these but if we make this upgrade that might work that might work let me save it save it that might be a very cheap uh, thing to start but maybe it will be worth it actually maybe i can deliver here instead what would be cheaper making a bridge there or just using the existing highway that might actually be cheaper, huh? Hmm. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, first, we need to deliver iron ore. What if we also deliver iron ore to the train? Would that work? If we have iron ore at the train... Oh, there we go. The MAN is out. That's one of my favorite trucks. I would drive that in ETS2 if it was there. So... Let's see, let's see. Um, if we... Let's plan this. Now this one I, I wasn't able to ch check out in the simulation, but this looks like a good idea. So if we have like coal here, the coal I can just make a road here, ship it to the steel mill. The iron ore, I think it's simplest to just... Well, I can maybe ship it down here too. So that they would be connected to the same thing, both coal and steel. Uh, coal and iron ore. And we would just use one line there. But that would be one way, that's the problem. When we ship it there... Ah, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be one way. Because if we ship, if we connect the steel mill to this paper line, it will be connected to the rest of the network. Let's try that. Let's try that. Okay, let's loan a bit. Just a bit of money. 500k should be more than enough. Or maybe not because we'll need a bridge. But fine. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, so we need a road from here. Does it look good? Okay. We need to connect to the city. Um... It will be passing through the main city. That might not be such a good idea. Maybe we can go through here. We'll need a, a whole new highway though. But maybe we can make that work somehow. Let's see. Let's try. Just 20k increments. Avoid the contours if possible. Maybe we stay in the middle. Right. It's fine. Make an intersection. I don't really care. <laughs> the cheapest way. Uh, we'll make it work. 20k increments for the win. Whoa. Tap in there. Let's avoid that a bit as much as possible. What happened? Oh, it was out saving. Okay. I was scared. I thought it hanged on me. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there. Maybe let me slow down the game a bit. Just keep it running, but keep it at uh, normal speed. We're almost there. Stay with me. Stay with me. And we are home. Yes. Good. Alright. So that connection's done. Let's also connect this way. Um, maybe connect that way. Yeah, that doesn't have a contour. So that should be fine. What is the smallest bridge we can do here, I guess? 
Let's see. 68k. It's not too bad. I can get behind that. That one and connect. Perfect. This one. Just a bit connect to the same spot here. Okay, that's perfect. All right, good. So now let's build some uh, truck stations. This might be a crazy idea. I hope it works though, but we will see. So we get some coal here. We get a some iron ore here. Oh, that's expensive. Can I? Can you make a cheapo station, please? Oh, that's 110. Uh, maybe I can do it like this. 18k. And then I can just connect it via road. There, perfect. The cheapo's way out. Okay, that's connected. We can have a uh, depot. Where should we have a depot? I think we should have it here in the middle. Just to be on the safe side. Mm, that should be fine. Okay, good. Alright, and then we need a station here as well. Should be... Oh, we're missing one more link. Crap. We are missing one more link. The link to the paper. Uh, paper mill. So, let's let's also do that. If I upgrade this one, <clears throat> I can then connect somewhere. Like, maybe that way? Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't work at all. Let's make it straight like so. And then let me maybe connect like that. Okay. Where where's the target? There. It's a bit far. Fine. Alright. Let's do it like this go across this way for now this will be a trucker's paradise beautiful scenic route I would love to drive that route okay just a bit more uh, how will we cross that though that's the question we need the shortest possible connection that one I guess if we make that Okay, that doesn't work. That works. 91k. 73k. 74. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll bite. It's a bit tricky. Okay, I'm good with that. 64? No way. There we go. Okay, almost there, guys. Almost there. And we should be able to connect right here. Perfect. Okay. So that thing's connected. <laughs> oh, this would have been so nice with the train, but uh, baby steps, guys. Baby steps. We need to make it work first, all right? All right, let's go with that. It's actually looking like a perfect station right there okay so let's make a line we need a line coming from the coal to the steel right let's put that as the truck uh, coal uh, okay let's leave it like that truck coal and we need a line coming from the iron ore here delivering here so that would be the truck Iron ore. And then we need a line coming from here, delivering that here, which would be steel. If that makes any sense at all. Yes. Let's assign one truck each. Uh, let's borrow money. 38 million now. 
let's get an MAN for each one because they would need to be the best. Anyway, yeah, good. And get one as well, one more loan. Steel. Okay, that should connect the entire thing at least. Alright. Okay, that's set. And then let's add more uh, trucks on the way. Oh, and this is uh, ramping up again. Oh, that looks pretty good. Train is still losing money though. But I think it's turning around. It's turning around, yes. Good, alright. <clears throat> let's have a look here. How are you doing on the fuel line? Okay, it has fully upgraded. A thousand production. That's good. You don't need so much in there. Here we can improve the situation. Um, by uh, hmm. we can upgrade to MAN or we can simply pay repay the loans for now but there is no urgent need to upgrade after all yeah that looks good full train it was a full train I think where's the train now there it is yes we are back to having full trains beautiful okay that's good yeah, production is in full swing. We are getting all that we need. Yes, we still need uh, steel in here though. But a new month has come, I think. Or maybe not. We still haven't gotten anything here. Okay, fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So that means just from the... Just by looking at this, we need double the trucks on this line, on the coal to steel mill line, because the iron ore will also be shipped here. So it might make sense for me to buy another truck already. Sign that here. Let's see how that works. Good. Are we uh, getting into stuff? Okay, it's starting. It is starting, guys. Iron ore here. Coal here. And I didn't even notice the time because I was enjoying myself so much. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that looks good. So coal is getting produced. Iron ore is getting produced. Coal and iron ore. I I'm hoping I got my ingredients right. Coal and iron ore produces steel and slag or steel. Okay. Where can we use the slag? Maybe we can use that somewhere. <clears throat> okay, so that's one way. But then we can also deliver to these nearby cities, completing the chain. That might actually work. But this is looking good so far, isn't it? This is looking good so far. Truck waste. Why are you stopping, bro? Yeah, I think there's just too much in there. Let's have this uh, move to the paper line. Balance it out a bit. Yeah, that looks more like it. Good. Are there actually cars? Oh, that's our MEN truck. Okay. Look at that view. Look at that view. Shoo, super scenic. Love it. Alright, let's have a look. Have things been delivered already? Uh, we do have one coal. Okay, that's good. And we do have... We, su we do see the potential for steel now. That's good. 18. Why is it only 18? Is the darn thing too long? Because that should go all the way here. <laughs> that might be a bit too much to cross, I'm not sure. And yeah, our cargo train is earning money again. That's good. Yeah, it's a happy train again. Beautiful. Okay, speed up. We are getting lots of coal. There we go. Lots of iron ore, perfect. Yes, and uh, looks like we need more trucks. Looks like we need more trucks, so let's borrow money. Or do we need to borrow more money? 
Let me think about this. Maybe not. Yeah, not really a lot of build-up in there. Two trucks I think is more than enough for now. Only thing is they're only shipping coal right now. Because the iron ore isn't really a lot yet. Yeah, so... Maybe I can improve this a bit. Upgrade that to medium roads so they can utilize the 80 speed limit. Oh crap. Um, what happened to my money? Oh, it's a, it's a new... It's a new month. Okay. There we go. So where's the truck? Let's uh, turn on the truck icons. There he goes. He just delivered his new set. Okay, now we should have 20 iron ore. Okay, that should get delivered next time. Beautiful. Have we produced anything yet? I guess not, because everything is still coal. Yeah, so we produce steel. Let's see where it goes. And then I'll let you guys go, okay? How's that sound for you? So it might be a bit more of an extension again. But yeah, it looks like things are starting to turn around. Let's remove that. It's a bit too clunky with all the trucks we have. This is fine. This Even this one has upgraded. Yeah, we're actually at our uh, limit now. We can actually afford to connect this to more cities, I think. Yeah, because the potential is there. We can produce up to 1600, but our demand is only 700. So we can connect this to more cities and earn more money overall. That sounds like a plan. Full train? Full train. Beautiful. Good. <clears throat> earning money again. All lines earning money except for that new line. The truck steel line. That's fine. Even the iron ore? And the coal line is earning money. Interesting enough. Those are very new lines, but they're earning money already. It's amazing. Okay, let's have a look. Which one is carrying our first set of uh, iron ore? Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, let's stay tuned here. We have 32 coal. We don't have any uh, iron ore. That should change in a bit. There we go, another set of coal. Yeah, I guess this is where the coal is, this is where the uh, the iron ore is, and that's where the steel will be made. Let's have a look. I think this might be the first season where I make use of this steel industry. There we go, steel and uh, slag. Nice, there goes the truck, carrying the first set of steel, two pieces, why only two pieces? Okay, alright, fine. But look at all the steel already there, it's just not shipping it to the, uh, just not moving it to the truck station. Look at this truck, this looks like the uh, Roman truck by Madster. What is that squeaky sound? Alright, let's see where will this go. So this will get delivered here. Steel gets delivered here. It gets picked up by that uh, truck maybe. Not yet. Maybe this other truck. Hopefully. There we go. Steel is picked up here. He waits a little. He goes. full speed that is the intersection of doom right there <laughs> we should make that better oh can i make it to 500k so i lessen my loans a bit come on there we go look at that we ended up with uh, almost no increase in loans from the beginning of the episode i think in the beginning we had 36.5 now we have 37M, but we have all these new lines ahead of us. Uh, what is up with this traffic? Deliver the steel. There we go. And the steel is somewhere. Where the heck is the steel? 
Someone picked it up, I think. I hope someone did. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> Is it there? Just that's just one. Where's the other one? Here, okay, this is the guy, I think. Let's see, let's see that this is the guy, okay? It kind of merges with the steel um, steel buildup in that uh, recycling center. So we can't really appreciate it so much. But yeah, I think this is uh, how it's going. So the steel here will be shipped to that station. It will be transferred to the other one. And it will finally go north and be uh, we'll all be happy bunnies so that gets shipped here that gets transported there there we go and that will again then uh, be moved later on <laughs> maybe not in the immediate future though because uh, there are a lot of planks that are waiting here okay but fine we get the picture right we get the picture that gets delivered there and that should supplement the supply for machines and maybe that will then uh, trigger some upgrades look at that look at that iron ore there yeah we can definitely improve the situation here okay we'll do that next episode guys but yeah i, I am seeing this as a possibility now i think we can make this work yes next episode we'll uh, see more on how we can progress with this all right who knows, maybe there would even be two episodes of Transport Fever this week because I'm still so excited. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips as usual, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. If you did like this episode, please don't forget, hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments. Share with your friends. Let's grow the community. Share the love. And uh, make sure if you want to support the channel directly, please check out the Patreon page. Link is in the video description. We'd be more than happy for that. Oh, what is this? We are at potential 1404. Even though the demand is only 692, that is not very... That is a very strange occurrence. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching guys. Catch you in the next episode. Thanks and bye-bye.